just cut about a hundred people. You realize that? Come on, come on. We've been here since two no, hours. This is the worry, like we've stayed up all night, we cannot sleep during the seminar. I don't know how many people are waiting outside, but it's pretty crazy. Today is a special day, because we hear two presentations from the two experiments, Atlas and CMS, on their update on a search for a certain particle. I forgot the name. <laughs> They line up extremely well, and in the region of 125 GeV, uh, they combine to give us a, an ex a combined significance of five standard deviations. It's exciting, it's new, it's good, but at the same token, um, if it really is the animal, the Higgs, it is, it's what we all, it's what we thought um, that nature would supply us. Nature is, and this means nature is boring and does the most simple thing possible. There we go, that's it, five sigma. When he comes out five sigma and everybody starts applauding for like five minutes straight, I was, I was a bit surprised. Maybe I should have expected that. For some reason I had not expected that. And it was very moving, I have to say. It was very, very touched. The results from, from both experiments were uh, sort of this uh, fantastic discovery, if you like, beyond any reasonable or even unreasonable doubt that there's absolutely definitely something there. There's nowhere that there's a discrepancy with expectations of the standard model days. We have nowhere that we can say that that's the case in a significant way. But there are many places where there are some slight discrepancies, some peculiarities, some not so slight discrepancies. So we're going to go after this and find out what it is. I mean, it looks a bit like the Higgs. I mean, it's certainly a bit Higgs-like. The one interesting thing is that we don't see it in the tail channel. It's not significant yet, but that could be really, really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn particle. That was what he wanted to call the book because the particle was going to be so difficult to discover. I'm rather surprised that it happened in my lifetime. I, I, I certainly had no idea uh, more than 40 years ago. I mean, now it's just, you know, discovery, no discovery. It's easy to, it's easy to say, but... I mean, the real, the real like dirt is is going to be you know understanding what what's going on. And, you know, maybe the, we're seeing something that's actually more profound. That you know, it's not actually the Higgs we expect, right? If if the media says, oh, we see the standard model, then maybe people will stop. But if they say we see the standard model, but they're Higgs of something else, you know, that might that might you know incite people to get really excited.